Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut. It doesn't have a swelled head. It doesn't force itself on others. Love isn't always me first. It doesn't fly off the handle. It doesn't keep score of the sins of others. Love doesn't revel when others grovel. Love takes pleasure in the flowering of truth. Love rejoices in the good times, perseveres in the bad times, trusts God always, always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Love never dies. Dakota has become one of my closest friends in those two years. Um, I know when we first met, we were both working together at the hospital, and she was, I had just moved here. She was like one of the only people who I was working with that was like around my age. So I thought, wow, this is my opportunity to make some friends. You know, we definitely grew up and had a hell of a lot of fun over the years, multiple times. Today, I become your wife. The day that we waited so long for is finally here. I can't wait to become yours and to start our family together. From the many nights laughing, crying, and bouncing your door off the guardrail, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you so much for wiping my tears away with all my tears shed and comforting me, comforting my heartbreak when our boys dread. You have been my rock through everything and I am forever thankful for that. I love you forever and always. Your sense of humor makes me laugh and shake my head. Thank you for always fixing my car when I run over the curb or hit the light post. <laughs> I cannot wait for our future together, which will include many more dogs and kids. I can't wait to see you today and to become your wife. I love you very much, Dakota. We went to CJ Maggie's, and that was actually the first time I met Jimmy. She had told me after we got there that Jimmy was going to come by, and I thought, oh great, my first potential friend here in Elkins, and I'm going to third wheel them. <laughs> but when Jimmy got there, it was like I had known both of them for years. They were so welcoming and so friendly, and you can tell that they just have the goofy love that's like best friend love but better. Here's to all of my jokes and sarcasm that takes that takes you some time to get and love and hate that I do it. I love you so much and I wouldn't want to spend the rest of my life with anyone else. You mean the world to me, and I love you, babe. Also, this is all I can afford as a gift. gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts. In the ceremony today, we will witness the joining of two lives, James and Dakota, 
in marriage. For them, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met each other, fell in love, and are finalizing it with their wedding together. I, James. I, James. Take you, Dakota. Take you, Dakota. To be my wife. To be my wife. My partner in life. My partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today. And love you today. Tomorrow and forever. Tomorrow and forever. I, Dakota. I, Dakota. Take you, James. Take you, James. To be my husband. To be my husband. My partner in life. My partner in life. My one true love. And my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today. And love you today. Tomorrow and forever. Tomorrow and forever. I, James, take you, Dakota, to be my wife. I, Dakota, take you, James, to be my husband. To have and to hold in sickness and in health. For richer and for poor, in joy and in sorrow, and I promise my love to you. And with this ring, I take you as my wife. And with this ring, I take you as my husband. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. By the power vested in me as a bishop of the Church of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. James, <laughs> you may kiss your bride. It is my honor and privilege to be the first to introduce Mr. and Mrs. James Platterbuck. The two married people actually don't have kids. However, the other three of us actually have kids. <laughs> so guess what? You, you guys got some humping to do. Just throwing that out there. I, I, I need a nephew from you, sir. I mean, the furry four-legger man, like he counts, but I need the one with two feet and two hands. You guys have uh, grown together for the last couple years. It's been phenomenal. It's something special that you guys need to cherish and take forward in life. I mean, we've all had great times. Everybody's had great times. Uh, you two are definitely something special, and I hope you keep that for the rest of your lives. Finally showing They try to bring us down But we're going up They try to take us down but they're I'm so happy for you guys That you finally get to be Husband and wife And I wish you guys a lifetime Of happiness And I love you Yeah.